This demonstration will show how to use SDKIQ for iPhone, um, which is an iPhone application that is oriented towards iPhone developers, whether you be beginner or experienced. And it um, contains tutorials and can be used also as a pocket reference. Um, on the opening screen is a listing of the different categories that are offered in the application. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go into the first one, which is the programming one-on-one -on -one, uh, category. And here are the various uh, topics that you can explore. And each one will show how to create an application and uh, go through step by step. Some include videos, which is what the little TV icon with uh, the antennas indicate. Uh, some will let you email a working project to yourself, um, which is what the folder and the little zipper indicate. And if I go into the first one, the view-based application tutorial, this lets you see what um, it looks like with uh, pictures and text uh, describing step by step how to put together this application. Um, it does contain code snippets. Um, and we saw earlier that it has a little TV icon indicating a video, which those will always be towards the bottom of the topic here, uh, watch video demo. This one doesn't actually have the demo and if I click I'll get this message. Um, this is actually a, one, a version 1.3 feature uh, coming um, right now, if uh, the message appears, you can back out to the main screen and go to video demonstrations, and this will show you the di the different videos that have been downloaded. The ones in black have been downloaded, and the ones in gray haven't. And to download, you can just click it, and um, you'll see the progress indicator showing you how much has downloaded. And once it completes, you can watch the video from here or go back to the topic you are in. And that is done just so that whenever you purchase the application, you don't have to worry about a 30 megabyte download. Um, usually you'll get um, a couple of videos or whatever might be the newest videos included in the application. And so if I um, go back into the first topic we were in earlier and scroll down to the bottom here, um, I can email the project. And I just will include a message telling you what version it was compiled in. Um, it includes a zip. And I'll go ahead and go into a different topic, Objective C and Coco. A large number of topics here. Um, if I go into one of these, the NS Notification Center, it has um, a lot of code snippets. And uh, what I can, it'll, the code formats for landscape view, which I rotate here, you can see the code will stretch out and you get a better view of what's happening. And at the bottom of these topics are references to the SDK. So if I click here, um, it'll bring me out to the SDK, Apple's website. And these are cached so that next time you reference this particular topic, in the SDK website it will load a lot quicker. Uh, if I go back into the topics here there's navigation just like in the Mail app as well. And on the About screen um, here you can clear your cache out. Uh, the pages will automatically clear, clear out after 120 days. Um, you can set the font size. It gives you version information and lets you see the topic count. Um, there's in-app email, which you can send your questions to the support there and um, get personal replies on even programming questions, so feel free to send those along. And this has been a demonstration of SDK IQ for iPhone, which is available in the iTunes App Store now and does require OS 3.0. Thank you.